Hey there, I'm Jim Edgar, and I uh, wanted to talk to you quickly about a plugin which popped up today from the good folks at Waves. It is called the Clarity VX. It's part of kind of two different options that they made available today. Uh, one of them is a more expensive professional option, which is about $250 on sale. But this one comes in at the typical Waves sale price of $29.99. Uh, I looked at the video, looked at a little bit of write-up on it, and was interested enough to try it. Because although Waves has a ton of different plugins, which are mostly useful for music and music production, they do make some key plugins which are very effective for what we do in voiceover. And anything that says it's going to focus on vocals and reduce sound is probably worth paying attention to. So I went ahead and downloaded it and put it on a file that I use in a couple of my classes to demonstrate noise reduction. Uh, let's go ahead and just listen to that file all the way through and we'll kind of hear what it sounds like. Scissors cut paper, paper covers rock, rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock, Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitate lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. I think we can agree there's a bit of a noise floor there. So as we use the analyze function in Twisted Wave, we see that's peaking at about minus 37, uh, RMS of about minus 49, which would probably put it into the very unusable range. Uh, so often if I see something like this, I'm gonna go ahead and just reach for my go-to noise reduction from the good folks at Isotope which is the voice denoise from RX. This is from 7, but basically it's pretty similar to what's in the current version. It has a threshold that I'm going to adjust to set how sensitive it is to finding the noise, and then a reduction amount. So it's a little bit of manual. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play through that. Scissors cut paper. Uh, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard. A little bit. Lizard poisons Spock. And and Spock smashes it. scissors. Scissors decapitate lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock. And as it always has, rock crushes scissors. So it does a pretty decent job of taking that down. If I applied it, uh, you would see it kind of hits that, brings that noise floor down to uh, about minus 57 in RMS. So we dropped a good, um, I can't do math that quickly, uh, not quite 10 dB of, of sound reduction right there. Uh, and so if we undo that, bring up our new plugin from Waves, and they have two versions that you get, the mono and the stereo. Of course, since we're working in for voiceover, we're going to be working in mono. And it's a pretty simple interface. It basically has a knob. It basically um, has some pretty usable presets. Uh, I've got it set up right now so that my setup A is just the factory preset of reduce constant noise. And then they give you this nice little A-B option. So I can go to B where I've cranked it up to the remove constant noise. So kind of uh, about 75% and about 100% of the dial here. Now they are touting this as having a neural network approach, which is basically uh, an algorithm that they say uh, has a little bit of an AI aspect to it. So it should be figuring things out possibly a little more appropriately. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the lighter setting. Uh, we've got the uh, cursor at the beginning of this, and let's just listen to hear what goes on when we when we listen through this plugin. Scissors cut paper. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard. Lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors. Scissors decapitate lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. I find that pretty impressive. So I, if I apply that. Uh, cranks through there pretty quickly, squeezes out a lot of noise back in this tail section. Uh, we're down around minus 70 dB just with that basic setting. And of course, the question is, what did it do to my audio, my vo vocals? Is it artifacting? Is it making it sound squished or weird? Scissors cut paper. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard. Lizard poisons Spock. Sounds pretty Spock good smashes to my ear. scissors. I do sometimes sound squished and weird, but it is at least accurate to the recording. So I'm gonna undo that, and this time we're gonna to go to the other tool, or other setting rather, which is going to be our B setting, where it's cranked up all the way to see if it starts damaging the audio. So I'm gonna play this through just as a option. 
Scissors cut paper. Paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard. Lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors. Scissors decapitate lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock. And as it always has, rock crushes scissors. That seems pretty effective. In fact, when I apply that, we're going to find some ridiculously known, low numbers here, where it's down around minus 96 dB on the RMS. That's from something that was sitting almost at 50 dB, so it's knocking about 50 dB off of it, but it's also doing it in a way that isn't really impacting the, the voice in a negative way. Even though it's cranked up to 100%, Spock smashes scissors. Scissors decapitate lizard. Lizard eats paper. Paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock. That's sounding pretty accurate. That's not sounding heavily distorted. So in my book, this gets a strong thumbs up. I'm really impressed with what they've done here. Uh, I think for 30 bucks, if you already have a noise reduction option, uh, this may complement it nicely. If you don't, I think it's worth getting. So I uh, hope that's helpful. It's a quick look. I reserve judgment to change my mind in the future if I find it's not working appropriately on other types of audio. But for a quick test for something that I use to demonstrate in classes, I'm liking this. It's worth 30 bucks. So hope that helps. Uh, in the meantime, go be brilliant.